became interested in growing uh, bamboo from seed, which you can order online. You can get a hundred of them for around three or four dollars. Uh, one of the things I've noticed, a lot of people talked about having a poor success rate uh, in germination uh, and survival of the plants. These plants over here, uh, we are moso bamboo. We started and probably had about an 80% success rate. So we thought we might put a video together just talking about what we did and might be helpful. Things that you'll need to uh, grow bamboo, obviously the seeds. Uh, these are black bamboo. Uh, the ones we had planted before were moso, which are the tallest. The black bamboo have black stalks, it's very pretty bamboo. Uh, you'll need uh, some smaller pots, either three or four inch round or square pots. Uh, the soil that we'll be using is a mixture of uh, vermiculite with uh, peat moss and that's a one-to-one -one mix and we're going to use one gallon Ziploc bags and these are nice that have the expandable bottom. Uh, these will act as a greenhouse for each of the pots. Uh, water you need uh, to get unchlorinated water. Uh, we're lucky here that we're on a well but if you're using city water, you might want to consider buying distilled water from a grocery store to use. Um, and some salt, I'll get to that in a minute. Household bleach, and uh, number two pencils. First thing you'll want to do is sterilize your pots, uh, rinse them off, but if you'll take household bleach and one part of this to nine parts of water in a bucket, and uh, soak your pots in there for just a little while, then rinse them real well, and uh, that will sterilize them. For your seeds, uh, also you'll want to uh, sanitize them with uh, one part of salt to nine parts of water, and I just use a little jar here. Uh, put the seeds in, let them soak for just about five minutes, and maybe even as far as 15 minutes. Then strain it out, rinse them real good with some fresh water, and go back um, with the water that you're going to use to soak the seeds in. Now online, looking, some people soak the seeds for only an hour before planting. Some people go as long as 48 hours. I'm not sure that it really matters because if you get them in the wet soil, they're going to be soaking and germinating uh, just as well as if you do a pre-soak. So these seeds have been in here for just about two hours. When you get your seeds, they're going to have a, um, a hole on them. Some people just leave that on when they soak them and they will germinate out of there. I like to pull them apart and, um, and get the ovary or the little seed part out of the middle of it. Uh, one, you're able to inspect it that way and see if it's a, a good seed that you're going to be using. To open them up, you'll need to um, move up closer here. But you can take the um, seed and just pull on the hole to pull it apart. And then inside, you'll see the little small ovary of the seed, and that's the part that we'll be planting. The um, soil that you'll be using will be this half perlite, uh, half peat moss mix. And if you can get it damp and put it in the pot and uh, pack it down real good. And then take your a sharp pencil, wooden pencil, and some people do just one seed per pot, I do two. But if you'll poke two holes in here to where it's just about to where the sharpened part of the pencil stops at the top, and that's the depth that you would need. You take one of the seeds, and it has uh, the little point end goes up, and you'll drop that in the hole and then take another one and put it in the other hole and push them down in there. And then just take your finger and kind of close the hole up, push it up tight against it. And that's all there is to putting the seeds in the pot. Then you can take the uh, bag, put the pot over in the bag and seal it up. And that'll be your, um, your greenhouse. Now, if you're in a cool climate and you put these inside, as um, long as they're above, say, 65, 70 degrees, they will do okay. 
but if you want to speed things up you can use an infrared heat lamp uh, located up above and the ideal temperature is about 85 degrees you don't want it to get over 100 because you could damage or kill the seeds uh, we're outside here uh, in Mississippi it's very hot and humid so this is the perfect place to leave these as long as they're in the shade and not direct sunlight uh, so it'll take probably about 10 days for this to germinate and don't dis get discouraged if it takes maybe even up to 30 days before you have plants uh, but out of a, a group of them you should see some within about two weeks and you want to make sure that when you do have uh, your seeds in the dirt that this is real damp saturated uh, but not flooded to where there's water pouring all out in the bottom of the bag so if you need to go and squirt a little bit more and let it soak the the water up and then by sealing this as a greenhouse you'll get uh, condensation to occur on the bag and it will be self-watering it doesn't hurt every once maybe you know once a week open this up just get a little air in there check on it if you need to score a little bit more water you can and then seal it up well, this is one of the most so bamboos uh, second planting that we did of them and this is about about four weeks old beginning to get uh, two leaves on here and at this point you can transplant these the uh, perlite and peat moss mixture is not going to provide much in the way of nutrients so it's also a time to provide uh, mild liquid fertilizer uh, the next video that we have will go into the transplanting of the uh, seedlings into a little bit bigger pots and fertilizer <music>